365, shake my hand and welcome to a quick video. I want to talk to you guys about the dollar. Uh, people's portfolios are on fire. Bitcoin, you know, finally moving steady towards those levels I've been talking about since the beginning of January. But more importantly, what's going to happen tomorrow? Right, so in front of you here should be the US dollar. We've got our dollar or DXY chart that we've been looking at in the traders' war rooms on the 365 Trading Academy YouTube channel. And you can see that the dollar has, you know, had a relatively, you know, one, two, three, about four big down days, right? And the down days occurred after a hawkish FOMC last week, after a positive NFP beat, right? And you might be confused as to why the dollar is still selling off. Remember, supply and demand curates how markets move. And supply and demand, simplest thesis is buy low, sell high. So if the dollar keep pushing down, despite or in spite of very positive fundamentals for the dollar. And my assumption is the dollar is either finding good demand levels to bounce off. As we can see right now, you know, there was the, that H4 demand that we've been speaking about for the last two to three weeks is still defending, you know, the dollar at about 109 US dollars to 10. But more importantly, things could change tomorrow, right? So tomorrow is CPI, Consumer Price Index Data, is the number one most looked upon retail indicator of inflation data, which the FOMC and the Fed for the last few months have now been forced to also take seriously. You can tell, or you can see for yourselves rather, that the CPI, you know, you know, recording for tomorrow is, is, is I mean, the economists write a forecast at about 7.9%. If inflation comes hotter, hotter means 8,0, 8,1, 8,2, anything above 7,9%, we can expect the dollar to rally, right? The dollar is sitting really inside, you know, a perfect place to start booming out of, right? This is a demand. It has been tested twice, all right? Actually, three times, and I don't really like my dollars, you know, my, my areas of values, rather, uh, you, know, you, know, you know, haven't gone through three big beatings, so be very careful. If for whatever reason inflation comes in a little bit lower than expected, I'm talking 7.9, 7.8, we can expect this downward spiral of the dollar to continue, right? So for that to see, we have to look at our daily chart again, and we're looking at another drop of the dollar coming down to, uh, you know, maybe 108 levels. Remember, if the dollar falls, things like gold start to go up, euro USD starts to go up, your equities, your risk on assets will run higher. Right, so look out for that. Follow 365 Train Academy for updates like this, and I'll see you tomorrow. 365. I hope it's three minutes.